Hello, and welcome to the Streaming Rearview Mirror Installation Overview. Snap the elastic straps to the top clips of the mirror and extend the camera. Wrap the elastic straps around your existing mirror and clip them to the bottom clips of the new mirror to hold it in place. Plug the power cord into the USB port and run the wiring up and into the headliner to hide it from sight. You can go to either the driver's or passenger's side and you'll continue all the way to the weather stripping in the door frame. Use the provided tool to help with hiding the wire if necessary. You'll follow the weather stripping all the way to the underside of the dashboard. If you go to the driver's side as we did here, be sure the wire is safely tucked away behind the pedal so there's no chance of interference. Alternatively, you could hide the wire underneath the floor mats, whatever works best for you and your vehicle. Once you've made it around to the center console, go ahead and plug in the power adapter. Use the adhesive on the rear camera to attach it to your vehicle. You'll need to find a spot with access to the interior. Behind the license plate is usually a good bet. Also included is an adapter with the same adhesive. It can be attached to the camera if you need to alter the vertical viewing angle or even attach the camera to a vertical surface. Now is a good time to remove the rear door panel. You'll need to in order to access the camera wire. There are usually a couple screws and a bunch of plastic clips holding the door panel on. Remove any screws and pull the door panel pieces off. This process will vary with each vehicle. Once removed, you might see a plastic cover like the one here. Only peel back as much as you need, but don't pull it completely off. This will make putting it back on much easier. Next, you'll plug the rear camera wiring into the AV port on the mirror and run it to the back of the car, similar to what you did before. This time, you'll follow the headliner and weather stripping along the top of the door frames all the way to the back of the car. Once at the back, run the wire down the weather stripping until you get to a spot where you can go across and into the rear door. Be sure to leave a little slack in the wire between the door and the door frame so there are no hang ups in opening and closing the door. You can now plug this wire into the rear camera wire. It's important to note that you will have to do some rewiring to attach the red cable for the backup sensor. In this case, our vehicle already had one equipped, so we decided to leave things as is. If you decide to rewire this, be sure to do it safely and disconnect the battery first. All that's left at this point is to reassemble everything and enjoy your new streaming rearview mirror.